Oh, it's gonna go 100%, but I believe it's gonna it, go. It's 100%, yeah. The whole thing is gonna go. We have to build a temple. What is the Red Hat feel? This is wild. <laughs> it's written for the temple to be rebuilt that ushers in the end times. All the tools that they use within the temple need to be cleansed. In order to do that, they sacrifice a red heifer. There's only been nine red heifers ever sacrificed. The last red heifer to have been sacrificed was 2,000 years ago. Some Jews believe that they should act as the fulfillers of prophecy that they themselves should build the temple, and when they build the temple, the Messiah comes. In a world filled with mysteries, one ancient prophecy stands out, whispering tales of the end times and capturing the hearts and minds of billions. Imagine standing in Jerusalem, where every stone tells a story of faith and struggle. Now, picture a single cow, a red heifer, at the center of an ancient prophecy that crosses the paths of three major religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Why does this one animal hold such power? What does its sacrifice mean for the future of our world? For Christians, this red heifer signals the return of Christ. For Jews, it's the key to rebuilding the sacred third temple. And for Muslims, it's a sign entwined with the fate of one of their holiest sites. But here's the question that's on everyone's mind. Could the last sacrifice of the red heifer really bring about the end of days as we know it? Think about it. A prophecy that affects more than half the world's population, with each faith viewing it through their own lens. It's not just a matter of belief, it's a matter of what could happen next. Will the red heifer be found? Will it meet the ancient criteria laid out in scriptures? And if it does, what then? In Jerusalem, where history and faith collide, the potential sacrifice of a red heifer isn't just a religious ritual, it's a ticking clock. Could this event set off a chain reaction leading to conflicts foretold in sacred texts? Join us as we dive deep into this prophecy, asking the tough questions and searching for answers. Why now? What signs should we be looking out for? And most importantly, are we ready for what comes next? Prophecies Explained Let's take a moment to journey back through the annals of time to a chapter in the Bible that's as mysterious as it is compelling Numbers 19.1.10. Here, nestled within ancient scripture, lies the prophecy of the Red Heifer, a tale that has captivated the minds of the faithful for centuries. So what's all the fuss about a cow? You might wonder. Let's dive into the heart of this prophecy to uncover its profound significance. The Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, saying, Tell the Israelites to bring you a Red Heifer without defect, without blemish, and on which a yoke has never been placed. This wasn't just any cow, it was a symbol of purity and a key to ritual purification, essential for those who had come into contact with death, to re-enter the sacred spaces of worship. The heifer was to be taken outside the camp, slaughtered, burned, and burned its ashes used to create a mixture for purification. But why a red heifer? Why such specific criteria? The red heifer serves as a potent symbol of innocence, an unblemished life given to cleanse the impurities of the people. Its rarity? A reminder of the rarity of true purity in a world mired in the complexities of life and death. Historically, the search for the elusive red heifer has been nothing short of a quest for a holy grail, with records indicating that only nine have ever been sacrificed since the command was given. Each discovery has been a cause for wonder and speculation. The process of verifying a heifer's eligibility is painstaking. Even two hairs of a different color, a single blemish, or evidence of labor would disqualify it. Imagine the anticipation, then, when a candidate has found a creature that could potentially fulfill a prophecy thousands of years old. But what makes this quest so captivating isn't just the hunt for a red cow. It's the weight of what such a discovery signifies. The sacrifice of a qualified red heifer isn't merely an act of purification, it's a herald of monumental events in the tapestry of faith. For the Jewish community, it signals the possibility of building the third temple, a step towards the realization of messianic times. For Christians, it echoes the prophetic signs of the end times, a marker on the road to the second coming. Now pause for a moment. Imagine standing on a hill overlooking Jerusalem, the city of gold, where every stone is steeped in history and faith. The potential sacrifice of a red heifer in this land isn't just a ritual, it's a stirring of ancient waters, a call that resonates through the corridors of time echoing the deep yearning for redemption and renewal. Now, as we turn our gaze from the red fields where our heifer might graze, let's journey towards Jerusalem, the eternal city, where the prophecy of the third temple waits, shrouded in anticipation and mystery. The significance of this temple, 
intertwined deeply with the red heifer sacrifice, paints a vivid picture of faith, prophecy, and a future that seems almost within reach. You see, the third temple isn't just another structure to be built on a hill. It symbolizes the culmination of a longing centuries old for a return to divine favor and presence. It represents a bridge to the messianic era, a period of peace, justice, and spiritual renewal. But why is the red heifer so crucial in this grand design? Let's dive into the heart of it. The third temple, as foretold by prophets, stands as a beacon of hope, a promise of a new dawn after a long night. It's where heaven touches earth, where the divine presence dwells among humanity. Yet for the ground to be ready, for the foundation stone to be laid, purification is needed, a purification so profound that only the ashes of a red heifer, as described in Numbers 19.1.10, can achieve it. This isn't just about following a set of ancient rituals, it's about preparing the world for a shift, a transformation so significant that it touches every soul, every heart. The ashes of the red heifer, sprinkled upon those who seek to rebuild the temple, serve as a conduit for this divine purification, allowing the sacred to inhabit the mundane once more. But what does this mean for us, standing on the precipice of history? It means that every discovery of a red heifer, every potential candidate, sends ripples through the fabric of faith, stirring the waters of prophecy and anticipation. It's a reminder that the stories we've held in our hearts, the promises passed down through generations, are not just tales of old but living, breathing moments waiting to unfold. As we stand in the shadow of the Temple Mount, where history and destiny intertwine, we're reminded of the delicate balance between divine prophecy and human action. The Third Temple isn't just a dream of stones and mortar, it's a vision of a world renewed, of barriers broken and hearts united under the banner of the divine. So, as we explore the nexus between the Red Heifer and the Third Temple, let's do so with reverence and awe. Let's remember that we are part of a story much larger than ourselves, a story that spans the ages and calls us to look beyond the horizon to a future where peace reigns and the divine walks among us. And remember, this journey isn't just about witnessing the fulfillment of prophecy, it's about understanding our place within it, about carrying the torch of faith into the future. As we delve deeper into the mystery of the Red Heifer and the Third Temple, let's keep our hearts open to the lessons they offer, to the hope they bring to a world in waiting. So my friends, let's hold this story close, let it inspire us, challenge us, and remind us of the power of faith to bridge the gap between heaven and earth. The prophecy of the Third Temple intertwined with the sacrifice of the Red Heifer, is a testament to the enduring strength of belief and the unbreakable bond between the divine and humanity. Red Heifer in modern times. Now let's navigate through the swirling sands of time to our present day, where the prophecy of the Red Heifer whispers once again, stirring hearts and sparking debates across the globe. Recently, whispers turned into headlines with the identification and importation of potential Red Heifers to Israel marking a moment that many thought they might never see in their lifetimes. But what does this mean, and why has it captured the world's attention? In a move that seemed to leap straight out of ancient scriptures and into our modern reality, five candidates emerged, their coats a deep, unblemished red, meeting the stringent biblical criteria. Brought from the distant lands of the United States to the historic soil of Israel, these heifers reignited a flame of anticipation for what might be on the horizon. Yet, it's not just about these red heifers themselves, it's about what they represent, about the stirring of ancient prophecies in a world that often feels disconnected from its spiritual roots. The reaction to these events has been as varied as the sands on the seashore. For many within the Jewish community, this development is seen as a herald of the long-awaited messianic era, a tangible sign that the divine promises of old are unfurling before our very eyes. But within this hopeful anticipation, there's also a solemn reverence, an understanding of the profound spiritual responsibilities that accompany such a moment. Among Christians, particularly those with a keen eye on eschatological prophecy, the importation of these red heifers has sparked a fervor of discussion and speculation. Could this be the precursor to the rebuilding of the Third Temple? Could we be the generation that witnesses the fulfillment of prophecies that have slept for millennia? The questions are many the implications profound, and the conversations are happening everywhere from church halls to online forums. Yet, it's not just religious groups who are paying attention. Political circles within Israel and beyond have also taken note, aware that the act of sacrificing a red heifer on the Mount of Olives, as prescribed, 
carries with it potential for significant geopolitical ramifications. In a region where religious and political lines are intricately woven, the actions surrounding the Red Heifers are treaded upon with a mixture of hope and caution. Even within the Islamic community, which holds the Temple Mount as a site of profound significance, there's an air of watchful anticipation. The possibility of any activity that could lead to the rebuilding of the Jewish Temple atop what is now Islamic holy ground is met with apprehension, a reminder of the delicate balance of coexistence in a land marked by its sacred history to all three Abrahamic faiths. As we delve deeper into our narrative, the shadow of the red heifer casts itself not just across the spiritual realm but the geopolitical chessboard of the Middle East. The arrival and potential sacrifice of these red heifers in Israel are not mere religious rituals, they are events loaded with geopolitical implications, vibrating through the delicate balance of power in a region where history is not just remembered but lived every day. Picture this the ancient city of Jerusalem, a mosaic of sacred histories and the heart of the world's most enduring religious dramas. Here, the potential sacrifice of the red heifer is not just a step towards spiritual fulfillment, it's a catalyst that could shift the very ground upon which the Middle East stands. For centuries, Jerusalem has been a pivot around which the geopolitical ambitions of nations and the fervent prayers of the faithful spin, each thread of history intertwined with the others in complex patterns. In the bustling streets and quiet corners of this historic city, the recent developments surrounding the Red Heifers have sparked conversations filled with hope, concern, and deep contemplation. For the Jewish community, these events symbolize a long-awaited return to ritual purity and the possibility of realizing a dream millennia in the making the reconstruction of the Third Temple. But this dream is nestled within a landscape of competing dreams and sacred spaces, where the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque stand as powerful symbols of Islamic faith. The prospect of altering this sacred landscape to make way for the Third Temple sends ripples through the political waters of the Middle East. Nations watch with bated breath aware that any move towards rebuilding the Temple on the Temple Mount could ignite tensions in a region already marked by its fiery history. The Temple Mount, revered and contested, lies at the heart of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a symbol of national identity, religious fervor, and centuries-old grievances. Political leaders, diplomats, and religious figures tread carefully around these developments, mindful of the delicate tapestry of agreements, understandings, and unwritten rules that govern the status quo. The international community watches, wary of the potential for these religious events to escalate into broader conflict, knowing well that the Middle East is a nexus where global interests converge, clash, and sometimes catastrophically collide. The Temple Mount Controversy Nestled in the heart of Jerusalem lies the Temple Mount, a site of unparalleled historical and religious significance, a place where the timelines of faiths intersect and the echoes of ancient prayers linger in the air. For Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike, this hallowed ground whispers tales of divine encounters, sacred promises, and prophetic visions, making it a focal point of spiritual aspiration and, simultaneously, a nexus of contention. For the Jewish people, the Temple Mount is the bedrock of their faith, the site where Solomon built the first temple, a divine dwelling place on earth. It's where the second temple stood, a beacon of God's presence, until its destruction. The longing to rebuild, to restore what was lost, is not just about bricks and mortar, it's about rekindling a direct connection with the divine, a dream encapsulated in the vision of the Third Temple. Christians look to the Temple Mount through the lens of Scripture and prophecy, seeing in its stones the footsteps of Jesus, who walked its courts and foretold its fate. It's a testament to fulfillment, to promises made and kept, and to a future where all nations shall flow to this mountain heralding an era of peace and divine kingdom on earth. For Muslims, the Temple Mount, or Haram al-Sharif, holds its own profound sanctity as the noble sanctuary. It's home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, where tradition says the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. It's a symbol of faith, a continuous thread of worship stretching back through the centuries, binding the present to a sacred past. Yet, amidst this reverence, a storm brews, for the Temple Mount stands as a symbol of religious aspirations and a beacon of contentious political claims. The idea of constructing the Third Temple here, on land currently home to Islamic holy sites, ignites a firestorm of controversy, stirring deep-seated fears and historical grievances. The status quo, 
a delicate balance of religious stewardship and access rights, brokered in a time of conquest and change, now trembles on the brink of potential upheaval. The contention is not just about land or stone, it's about identity, heritage, and the very soul of Jerusalem. For Jews, the rebuilding of the temple is a divine command, a step towards messianic fulfillment. For Muslims, any encroachment on Al-Aqsa's precincts is seen as a desecration, a violation of their sacred trust. And for Christians, the Temple Mount is a prophetic landmark, a signpost pointing towards end-time events. In the current geopolitical chess game, the Temple Mount is a king under siege, a space where faith and politics collide with explosive potential. The international community watches, wary of steps that could ignite further conflict in a region already scarred by division. Yet amidst these tensions, there remains a thread of hope, a belief that this ground, made sacred by the prayers of millions, could one day be a cornerstone for peace. In the heart of Jerusalem's unfolding narrative, the Red Heifer emerges not just as a symbol but as a harbinger of monumental change. This ancient biblical ordinance, veiled in the mystique of Numbers 19, intricately weaves the past with the prophetic future, especially regarding the Third Temple's envisioned reconstruction. Let's dive deeper into how this seemingly obscure ritual fuels the fervent aspirations for a new era on the Temple Mount. The Red Heifer's sacrifice is no ordinary ritual. It's a divine directive with the power to cleanse and prepare an entire nation for temple worship. Think about it a perfect, unblemished red cow, a creature so rare it becomes a symbol of divine intervention when found. This ritual, dormant for millennia, stands as the key to unlocking the path toward the Third Temple's establishment, a dream etched deep in the heart of those who yearn for a tangible connection to the divine. Historically, the Red Heifer's ashes were the only means to purify those defiled by contact with death, making them fit to enter the sacred precincts of the temple. Today, the search for a qualified Red Heifer ignites a profound sense of anticipation, symbolizing the readiness to bridge the heavenly and the earthly once more. The significance? Without this purification, the third temple remains an elusive dream, a blueprint of faith awaiting divine approval. But here's where the plot thickens the Third Temple's construction on the Temple Mount is not just a religious aspiration, it's a geopolitical pivot, stirring deep emotions and ancient rivalries. This sacred plateau, home to Jewish ruins and Islamic landmarks, is more than land, it's a narrative battleground where history and prophecy collide. The Red Heifer, therefore, is not just a key to religious rites, it's a potential catalyst for unparalleled transformation heralding a shift that could reshape the Middle East spiritual and political landscape. As believers and skeptics alike watch the developments surrounding the Red Heifer with bated breath, one thing becomes clear the act of its sacrifice would signal a readiness, a declaration of intent to move heaven and earth to rebuild the Third Temple. Such a move, deeply symbolic, is fraught with contention, challenging the delicate status quo that has held the Temple Mount in a tense balance for decades, Armageddon myth or imminent reality. Armageddon, a term that resonates with apocalyptic intensity in the hearts of many, bridging ancient scriptures and contemporary fears. But is it merely a myth, an allegorical tale, or a prophetic event inching ever closer to reality? As we delve into the essence of Armageddon and its intricate connection with the Red Heifer and the envisioned Third Temple, let's untangle the threads of prophecy, faith, and the future that could be unfolding before our eyes. At the heart of biblical eschatology, Armageddon represents the ultimate confrontation between the forces of good and evil, a climactic battle that heralds the end of the world as we know it. Found in the book of Revelation 16.16, the term Armageddon has transcended its scriptural roots, becoming synonymous with any potential global cataclysm. Yet, for those who hold the Bible's prophecies as a roadmap to the future, Armageddon is not a metaphor but a pending reality a battle that will take place on the plains of Megiddo. Enter the Red Heifer, a creature enveloped in divine mystery, whose sacrifice is believed to be a pivotal prerequisite for the construction of the Third Temple, a structure long awaited by many faithful. This temple is not just a building, it's a beacon of messianic hope, a symbol of divine presence returning to Jerusalem. But its significance doesn't end with religious aspirations, it's intertwined with end-time prophecies, serving as a cornerstone for the unfolding narrative of the last days. So how do these ancient rites and future hopes converge on the concept of Armageddon? The sacrifice of the Red Heifer, followed by the reconstruction of the Third Temple, 
is seen by many as setting the stage for the end times, fulfilling prophecies that speak of a period of unprecedented turmoil, followed by divine intervention and the establishment of a new kingdom of peace. But it's the potential geopolitical ramifications of these religious acts that bring the concept of Armageddon into sharp relief. In a region where history and faith are inseparably linked to the land, the act of sacrificing a red heifer and laying the foundation stone of the Third Temple could ignite tensions that spiral beyond control. For some, this is not just speculation but a sobering possibility that echoes ancient warnings and modern anxieties alike. As we navigate through the shadows of prophecy and the light of modern reality, the question looms will the fulfillment of these ancient rites truly usher in Armageddon? Different faiths, scholars, and even skeptics weigh in each offering a unique perspective on what the future holds. Let's explore these varying viewpoints and ponder the profound implications of the events unfolding before us. On one side of the spectrum, devout believers in Christian, Jewish, and Islamic traditions see the Red Heifer's sacrifice and the construction of the Third Temple as literal signs foretelling Armageddon's approach. They point to scriptures like Daniel 9.27 and Matthew 24.15, where the desecration of the holy place and the ensuing tribulation are prophesied, interpreting these events as clear markers on the road to the end times. For them, every development in Jerusalem is a piece of the eschatological puzzle falling into place, a step closer to the final battle between good and evil. Conversely, there are those who interpret these prophecies metaphorically, seeing Armageddon not as a physical battle but as a spiritual struggle within the human heart and society. They argue that focusing on the literal reconstruction of a temple made by human hands misses the broader biblical theme of God dwelling within his people. This perspective finds resonance in scriptures like John 2 19 21, where Jesus speaks of the temple of his body, suggesting a shift from physical structures to the spiritual community of believers. Between these polar views, a middle ground is inhabited by scholars and theologians who acknowledge the symbolic significance of these events while cautioning against a deterministic reading of prophecy. They remind us that history is fraught with moments where the end seemed nigh, yet life moved forward transforming fears of apocalypse into periods of growth and renewal. This camp encourages a watchful, prayerful approach, one that is open to the mysteries of divine timing and less inclined to force the pieces of prophecy into a preconceived timeline. Adding complexity to the discourse are political analysts and historians who view the developments around the Red Heifer and the Third Temple through the lens of geopolitical dynamics. They caution that while religious fervor can indeed precipitate conflicts, it's the interplay of political ambitions, territorial disputes, and international relations that often escalates these tensions to dangerous levels. In this view, Armageddon is less a predestined event and more a cautionary tale of what could happen when sacred aspirations collide with worldly power struggles. So what are we to make of these diverging paths? Do they lead inexorably to Armageddon, or do they offer different routes to understanding our place in the grand narrative of faith and history? Perhaps the key lies not in choosing one viewpoint to the exclusion of others, but in embracing the possibility that truth can wear many faces. As we ponder the unfolding of events in Jerusalem and beyond, let's do so with open hearts and minds, ready to find wisdom in the confluence of beliefs and interpretations. Whether Armageddon is myth or imminent reality, the discourse surrounding the Red Heifer and the Third Temple invites us to reflect on our deepest convictions, our hopes for the future and the role we each play in weaving the tapestry of human destiny. In this journey through prophecy and possibility, let us hold fast to the values of peace, understanding and compassion, trusting that whatever the future holds, it is ultimately guided by a hand greater than our own. Global Impact In a world often divided by beliefs, the prophecy of the Red Heifer and the dreams of rebuilding the Third Temple in Jerusalem weave a complex tapestry of faith, hope, and concern across the global religious community. This narrative, ancient yet ever relevant, touches the hearts of many and calls for a dialogue that transcends the boundaries of faiths. Let's delve into how these prophetic events are shaping interfaith relations and sparking efforts towards deeper understanding and connection among diverse religious communities. The prophecy does not merely stand as a testament to eschatological beliefs it serves as a mirror reflecting the profound interconnectedness of the Abrahamic religions Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Each tradition holds the Temple Mount in high esteem, albeit with differing visions for its future. 
This shared reverence could be a source of division, yet it also presents a unique opportunity for dialogue, a chance to explore the shared roots and divergent paths of these faiths. In recent times, amidst the stirring waters of prophecy, there have been remarkable efforts to foster dialogue and understanding. Religious leaders and communities are increasingly engaging in conversations, not to convert or convince but to comprehend and coexist. These dialogues often reveal that, despite differences, common values of peace, compassion, and the pursuit of spiritual truth unite these traditions. Interfaith initiatives around the world are taking bold steps towards bridging divides. For instance, gatherings that bring together Jewish rabbis, Christian pastors, and Muslim imams to discuss the significance of sacred spaces in their respective religions. These discussions are not about diluting beliefs, but about recognizing the sacredness that each tradition brings to the human quest for divine connection. Moreover, academic conferences and scholarly works exploring the historical and theological facets of the Red Heifer prophecy and the Third Temple contribute to a deeper, more nuanced understanding. Such endeavors help demystify these topics, making them more accessible to believers and non-believers alike, fostering a culture of knowledge and respect. Efforts towards peace and reconciliation in the Middle East also highlight the importance of religious dialogue. Initiatives aimed at creating shared spaces for prayer and reflection on the Temple Mount underscore the potential for religious coexistence and mutual respect in one of the world's most contested sacred sites. Yet the journey is not without challenges. Misunderstandings, deeply ingrained prejudices, and historical grievances can hinder progress towards dialogue and peace. It requires courage, patience, and a commitment to empathy to navigate these turbulent waters. Each conversation, each gesture of goodwill, is a step towards breaking down the walls that divide us. As we contemplate the unfolding of events tied to the Red Heifer and the Third Temple, let us also reflect on the power of dialogue and understanding. In a world eager for peace, the voices calling for compassion, mutual respect, and shared humanity are more vital than ever. These efforts remind us that beyond the prophecies and sacred texts, the heart of religion is about connecting with the divine and each other in ways that heal, unite, and uplift. In closing, let us embrace the spirit of dialogue and understanding, holding on to the hope that, even in the face of prophetic interpretations that might seem to divide us, our shared quest for spiritual truth can bring us closer. Together we can forge a path of peace, learning from each other and growing in our collective journey towards a world where faith bridges hearts and builds communities. In the tapestry of human history, faith has been both a compass and a conundrum, guiding us through the murkiest waters while at times ensnaring us in webs of conflict. As we stand on the brink of potentially prophetic times, the question of faith's role in interpreting modern events becomes paramount. Let's dive into how our beliefs shape our view of the world and the critical role peacekeeping plays in this intricate dance of destinies. At the heart of faith is the pursuit of meaning seeking answers to the profound mysteries of existence. This quest often intersects with our interpretation of contemporary events, especially when these events echo ancient prophecies. The saga of the Red Heifer and the aspirations to rebuild the Third Temple in Jerusalem are vivid examples resonating deeply with Jewish, Christian, and Muslim communities worldwide. But beyond the religious significance, these developments beckon us to reflect on the broader implications of our faith-infused interpretations. In a world where news travels faster than the speed of light, the way we perceive and respond to global events through the lens of faith can either bridge divides or deepen them. The narrative of the Red Heifer, while rooted in ancient texts, speaks to the modern soul about the eternal human yearning for divine closeness and the fulfillment of spiritual destiny. However, this yearning must be tempered with the wisdom that our shared humanity is the bedrock upon which peace must be built. The importance of peacekeeping in this context cannot be overstated. In the shadows of prophecy, where differing visions of the future could ignite flames of conflict, the role of peacekeepers those dedicated to dialogue, understanding, and reconciliation becomes a beacon of hope religious leaders, scholars, and laypersons alike are called to engage in conversations that acknowledge the sanctity of differing beliefs while seeking common ground. This endeavor is not merely diplomatic, it is profoundly spiritual. It requires us to listen deeply, not only to the words of others, but to the silence between them, where the heart's truest intentions lie. It asks us to look beyond our own convictions and consider the world through the eyes of another, finding in that perspective a reflection of the divine that dwells within us all. 
Moreover, in interpreting modern events, we must be guided by a faith that is compassionate, inclusive, and forward-looking. A faith that recognizes the interconnectedness of our global village and the shared responsibility to nurture peace, justice, and sustainability. This is the faith that can transform prophetic tensions into opportunities for growth, understanding, and unity. As we contemplate the unfolding of events linked to ancient prophecies, let us remember that the ultimate purpose of our faith journeys is not to hasten conflict but to herald a world where love, respect, and kindness reign supreme. This is the challenge and the promise of our time to wield our faith as a tool for healing, not harm as a bridge, not a barrier. As we wrap up our journey through the enigmatic prophecy of the Red Heifer and its profound implications, let's take a moment to revisit the pivotal points we've explored together. From the dusty roads of ancient scripture to the pulsing heart of modern Jerusalem, we've traversed a landscape rich in faith, history, and prophecy. The tale of the Red Heifer, with its deep roots in Christian, Jewish, and Islamic eschatology, unfolds a narrative brimming with uncertainty and diverse interpretations. At its core, the Red Heifer prophecy is a mosaic of ancient beliefs and contemporary aspirations, where every piece reflects a different hue of understanding and anticipation. The potential emergence of a qualified Red Heifer, the contentious plans for rebuilding the Third Temple on the Temple on the Temple Mount, and the shadow of Armageddon loom large in our collective consciousness, inviting us to ponder the intersections of faith, prophecy, and reality. As we stand at this crossroads of time and belief, it's crucial to recognize the power of our interpretations and the ways in which they shape our perception of the world. The story of the Red Heifer is not merely a relic of the past, it's a living, breathing dialogue between history and hope, between the sacred texts of yesteryears and the unfolding events of today. In this moment of reflection, I encourage you to delve deeper into the significance of these ancient prophecies and their resonance in our contemporary world. How do we reconcile the cherished narratives of our faiths with the complex realities of our global village? How do we navigate the waters of prophecy with an anchor of peace and understanding? This is where our journey doesn't end, but rather transforms into a call to action, a call to engage in respectful interfaith dialogue, to listen with open hearts and minds, and to share our thoughts on the prophecy's significance in a spirit of humility and curiosity. Let's embark on this path of conversation and discovery, not as adversaries, but as fellow travelers seeking understanding in a world rich with diversity and divine mystery. As you reflect on the layers of meaning woven into the prophecy of the Red Heifer, remember that our greatest strength lies in our capacity for compassion, dialogue, and mutual respect. In a world often divided by differences, let us unite in our quest for insight, peace, and a deeper appreciation of the sacred narratives that have shaped our journey through time. In closing, I invite you to share your perspectives, your hopes, and your questions. Let's continue this conversation beyond the screen, in our communities, across social media, and wherever paths of faith and inquiry intersect. Together, let's explore the profound legacy of ancient prophecies in our quest for a world marked by understanding, peace, and a shared reverence for the divine tapestry of life. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of prophecy, faith, and the quest for peace. May our journey forward be illuminated by the light of wisdom, compassion, and the enduring hope for a world united in its diversity.